Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining our webinar. Of course, we are very excited uh, that we have participants from more than 13 countries uh, from all over the world. Uh, and of course, uh, for start, I would like to uh, introduce us to you. My name is Marcin Bielecki. Uh, I'm product manager in Cloudfero, and of course, I'm uh, responsible for the uh, send for cap solution and uh, other EO-based uh, services. Uh, with me is also Sylvia Nasiłowska, uh, project manager in Cloudfero. Uh, and uh, a warm welcome uh, to Cosmin Kara, uh, technical manager from CS Group Romania, uh, developer uh, of the send for uh, cap solution. Maybe a few words at the beginning of the uh, upcoming agenda. So first of all, I would like to tell you a little more about why should you use a cloud solution and why you should choose a cloud solution for the uh, send for cap. After that, uh, Sylvia will show you uh, a live demo of the send for cap. And of course, uh, after the demo, uh, Cosmin uh, will tell us uh, a little more about the upcoming version 3.0. Of course, uh, if you will have any mm, questions regarding the webinar, regarding the Sun for Cup, uh, feel free to put them in the chat room. Uh, after uh, Cosmin presentation, we will uh, try to answer all of uh, your question. Uh, a few words of introduction about uh, who we are. Uh, Cloudforest company founded in the 2015, managed by a group of experts. Uh, with over 20 years of experience in the uh, IT industry. And of course, we have been trusted by leading uh, European companies and scientific institutions from various big data processing sectors, uh, including the European Space Agency, Elmetsat, the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast, uh, also the Mercator Ocean International, German Aerospace Center, and of course, many more. Uh, our main product we specialize in is, of course, cloud computing and a very large uh, storage and uh, the additional services. And uh, I think if we will check uh, our storage from all of the uh, projects that we delivered, and of course, uh, we are still developing them, uh, we'll have around 100 petabytes of uh, raw uh, data, of course. Uh, what makes us different from the market is, of course, our specialization towards processing large data sets of uh, Earth observation imagery, of course. Uh, as you can see, we grow very fast. In the last five years, we have expanded uh, our team by 10 times. Uh, we, of course, uh, from 2015 delivers and continue to develop a few big uh, uh, projects related to the Earth observation uh satellite sector the climate data store for the ecmwf of course the creo ds our uh our main project the wikio dias uh of course the dias related to the german the code the going further to the uh to the send for cup uh as the survey shows us some of you are not familiar with the uh, Sun for Cup, so perhaps uh, a few words on the objectives under uh, which it was uh, created, of course. Uh, the development of the software uh, was aimed at, uh, of course, increasing the efficiency, traceability, and the cost reduction based on the uh, use of EO products. Uh, with connection to the validation of operation practices and agricultural monitoring. Uh, this action was also intended to redirect uh, paying agencies' efforts to leverage cloud environments and uh, to activate the use of uh, Sentinel products, of course. As you can see uh, on the map, of course, uh, we operate with many countries around uh, the Europe and uh, the most of the users are from paying agencies, uh, from uh, government departments and from our experience, the software-based companies and the satellite data uh, related organizations 
are also uh, the part that delivers Sanford Cup uh, on Creo Diaz directly to the uh, paying uh, agencies. Uh, what is also interesting that uh, Sanford Cup is uh, also used outside uh, the European Union, not only for the uh, for Europe, but also we have users from a different part of uh, our globe. For instance, we have uh, testing users from South America, uh, from Asia and uh, from Eastern Europe that is out, outside, of course, uh, of uh, your European uh, Union. Uh, before we start a live demo, I would like to tell you about the uh, Send for Cup on Creo Diaz, uh, how it's managed, of course. So from start of the Send for Cup, from the release, uh, we create a send for cap image uh, with from virtual machine that is uh, already configured, of course, with everything. You don't need to uh, do anything more. You don't need to uh, put any additional uh, configuration. You just use the image that is already in the uh, cloud environment, which, of course, Sylvia will show uh, after my part. Uh, and the second most important thing is the data, because uh, Central Cap requires uh, Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, uh, and uh, of course uh, the Landsat 8 data. So the data is uh, here. You don't need to use uh, any uh, public hubs to, to download the data into the virtual machine. Uh, of course, for simplicity of use, the platform, uh, everything is here. So in the uh, after the installation of the virtual machine, you have uh, all needed components, uh, such as Maya, of course, uh, PostgreSQL, Apache Server. The uh, central cap uh, is landed, let's say, in the CentOS uh, operating system. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, it's directly connected to the EO data repository with uh, Copernicus data. Also, the virtual machine includes the SRTM data, which is required in the Central Cup. And if you would like to connect directly to the Mm, to the virtual machine and you would like to change change anything in the backend, you have two ways of uh, connection. You can use the SSH protocol or you can use the VNC protocol, which allows you to connect via, for instance, the X2Go client uh, with the graphic uh, user interface. And of course, uh, in a couple of minutes after the uh, creation of virtual machine, you are ready to go. You can uh, create your uh, new site. You can start uh, processing in the uh, Central Cup platform. Uh, from user perspective, of course, there is uh, no need to do any additional configuration in the data sources. You don't need to uh, put any uh, additional credential to, credentials to the uh, hub or something like that, of course. From our experience, uh, of course, uh, clients, our clients, our customers, uh, users uh, will gain a few benefits. So we have always uh, latest version of Central Cap. Uh, so there is no need to worry about uh, any upgrade. You can always use uh, latest version uh, from our um, cloud dashboard repository of uh, virtual images. Uh, you have always uh, available uh, Earth, obs uh, Earth observation data experts and uh, safe support if you have uh, any additional uh, questions regarding to send for CAP. Uh, the main important thing is the data. The, Cop the Copernicus data is always here and always uh, up to date, of course. Uh, one most important thing from the users and from our experience is that uh, everybody wants to have a very simplified uh, billing model. 
So for the Sanford Cup clients, uh, we have prepared uh, a solution that you only need to use uh, uh, the virtual machine, of course, uh, and the storage. And of course, uh, we are calculating the uh, pricing uh, based on the how much uh, storage uh, will be used. We are charging per one gigabyte of storage. So there is always a simple solution for users. Okay, so uh, what's next? From our experience and uh, contact with users, it appears that many of you need additional training in the operation of send for cap So probably in a two or three weeks, we will launch, uh, let's say, a new bundles uh, of services for the send for cap that, uh, for instance, uh, in the contract, uh, for about six months or maybe 12 months of, of using of the sun for cup every user uh, will gain a package with hours so uh, users can change the hours for training for internal webinars and of course the consultancy with the expert and uh, data scientists uh, and uh, from our perspective it will be very very helpful uh, if the user are uh, at the beginning of the journey of the uh, send for cap. But uh, also, uh, if there is a need on the part of the user to generate specific results, we can also perform uh, such an operation, of course. Uh, so we have come to the end of the business and product part of the webinar. And uh, from now on, I will give the floor to the Sylvia Nasiłowska, who will present the practical part. Uh, thank you, Marcin. Uh, so this part will be about uh, practical aspects of send for cup uh, Firstly, I will show you how to establish dedicated virtual machine. And next, I will uh, show you and the overview of the graphical interface uh, of send for cup So in order to do this, I will share my screen. Um, yeah, and uh, first step is uh, to go to our Cruelties U platform. And here you have everything you need to work with send for cup uh, firstly, of course, you have to register. And if you are registered, you can log in and uh, the access to the dashboard uh, you can have by tools, cloud dashboard, or the same is uh, accessible with, uh, with, with your cloud environment. And what is also worth to mention that we have very rich knowledge base and you can search here for the help for example, for the send for cup there is plenty of articles and tutorials how to work with uh, send for cup and how to establish the virtual machine. But right now I will show you this, exactly how to do this. And I'm going to my cloud environment. I'm connecting. And uh, here you can see uh, the uh, dashboard. And in the section instances, you can launch the new one. Uh, you can name it as you want. Uh, I, I, I call it Send for Cup Webinar 7 July. Uh, next, you have to choose the image with Send for Cup 1.3. And if you uh, are um, uh, advanced user and you know that you will have a lot of data, huge region and uh, plenty of images, you can here also establish the additional volume size. But for the beginners, it is not necessary. So here we are clicking no. The next step is uh, choosing the flavor. You see that the orange triangle is uh, showing you which kind of flavor, which kind of parameters of the virtual machines are not enough for send for cup send for cup demands quite uh, huge uh, 
processing power. So we encourage you and uh, to use this EO2 X, 2x2 large uh, flavor. So here I'm choosing it. Next step is uh, choosing the networks and uh, security groups. How to uh, establish it, uh, you can find on our uh, send for cup uh, CryoDS webpage. And then the last step, uh, very important, is to create Keeper. And because uh, if you want to have access uh, to your uh, and cloud environment, you need two keys. One is private and second is public. Uh, public key uh, can be visible and can you can access it uh, all the time in this dashboard. But private key, key it is uh, availab available here only once. And this is this moment. Uh, you can uh, create a new uh, pair of keys. Yeah, create key pair. It will list a few seconds. Okay, I don't know what has happened, but okay. Sometimes it lists a few seconds to create this keeper. Hmm. Sorry, I I I I have no idea what is happened here. Um, but okay, you can use some some uh, some old one and launch instance and uh, here in the list of instances uh, you can see the emerging new uh, new uh, virtual machine in few seconds it will be ready And what you have to do in next step, uh, you have to associate floating IP in order to access to this virtual machine just with your browser. Yeah, and you can here uh, associate a floating IP, choose the new one, allocate IP. associate and right now i can show you already created uh, environment of the send for cup it is very easy just place the external ip to the to your browser I have created this virtual machine a few days ago, so I have uh, one example to show you. Uh, and I can log in here, and you uh, can see here the send for cup uh, interface. Here you can do all things related to your work with agricultural products for uh, using uh, using Earth observation data. So. Uh, first step, uh, it can be creating new site. Uh, so here you are uh, establishing the region where you will be working. And in order to do this, you have to create the new site. Just uh, naming it with the big letter at the beginning. And then upload the shapefile. But the shapefile should be in UTM projection and it also has to be zipped. So I have an example here and I can save new site and my site is created. And in order to uh, arrange the time ranges of the of the of your analysis, you can add the seasons. You can of course uh, add as plenty seasons uh, for your analysis if you want. Just click here the green plus button, naming the 
naming the uh, period and choosing the days. Here I'm choosing just one week, but I think that you can uh, choose a longer period for your analysis and en enabled here in on. I will not do this right now, um, but uh, I can show you uh, uh, the results of my previous uh, test site. It was done for Portuguese and we have already here a few products generated and uh, those are for the north side of Portugal. And here in this section of products, you can see what was done for this, for this area. Uh, you can, of course, download each single image if you want, just to see what is inside, but this is not necessary because this uh, send for cups software is working uh, in every step you need and you don't need to download anything. There's also a few another sections uh, which are telling you about the pace of the processing. You can uh, manage here uh, the production of the thematic layers like, like crop types or grassland moving or another agricultural practices. Uh, you can observe uh, here how many images are uh, created here. Uh, you can add another users and you can see from where data are taken into this software. So uh, this is uh, how uh, send for cap soft uh, environment looks. And for more, uh, you can watch my colleague uh, webinar uh, from December 2020, and he is uh, he is showing you exactly how to use uh, the Sunform Cup environment, and he is showing examples of the product and examples of usage of this. So all right, now I, I would like to come back to the presentation, and maybe uh, I will show you. Uh, what kind of products you can acquire from the send for cup and uh, those layers which can be acquired from send for cup are very useful for everybody who is working with agriculture and who wants to use satellite data for this agriculture first of all you can acquire very good classification of crop type you can also uh, get the information about uh, grasslands for example when these grass, grasslands were cut by farmers you can also get can get the plenty of indicators vegetation indicators like ndvi uh, leaf area index or fapar uh, and all those um, indicators are telling you about uh, yield or biomass so those are, all this information are very useful for agricultural management and uh, here you can see a few examples uh, of the results of uh, send for cup and you of course can have the uh, the crop classification and at the end the uh, system is uh, giving you uh, a lot of shape files and statistics about the results so you you have not only the uh, polygons with the attributes, but also you have plenty of statistics of this classification process. So, for example, confusion matrix you will have and all necessary accuracy uh, for you to uh, work better with agriculture uh, from satellite data. Uh, and at the end, I would like to summarize uh, that uh, and indicate that Cloudfero has over two years experience working with uh, send for cap for common agriculture policy uh, we have been working with uh, several uh, various uh, institution paying agencies companies research institutions uh, in order to uh, find solution for agriculture and uh, here you can see the map of uh, regions where Send for Cup were, were implemented. So you can see that it was implemented on the north of Europe and south of Europe. So that means and that proves that Send for Cup can be applied uh, in any place, whatever, in, it is independent on climate or some uh, landscape uh, characteristics. So using our Creodias uh, repository, and processing uh, machines, 
uh, this application can be applied uh, globally. And we have a few uh, nice references from our users and they are happy with our, our support. And the most important is that they do not have spare times, time and money for establishing new infrastructure. And uh, also this is very important that the data is close to the processing. So uh, this solution is very, very helpful for their purposes. And what is also uh, worth to mention that um, from next year, uh, using air observation data will be obliged for European country. So uh, this solution we are talking about today uh, is ready and convenient for everybody who will want to uh, face this issue next year. Um, and this is the reason why in Cloudfero we are Develop, developing constantly and we will uh, be providing uh, also new version of the software. And that is why we invited today Mr. Kozmin Kara, who will tell you more about uh, future development of the software. So Kozmin. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Sylvie, for this introduction. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like a confirmation that you are able to hear me. Yes, okay, thank you. My name is Cosmin Kara. Uh, I am the team leader of the sem 4 cup uh, development team of CS Group Romania. I'm glad to, he to be here to share with you a glimpse of on, on the evolutions that will be part of the next 3.0 sem 4 cup release. Uh, this version is scheduled to be released in September, mainly due to summer holidays that are uh, beginning for uh, everyone. Uh, the next Sam for Camp system version will benefit of uh, rework, significant rework of the web user interface. Uh, previously, we relied on some server side web framework, which induced some dependencies that we managed to remove and replace with the true HTML and the JavaScript uh, nice web interface. The visualization of the raster products was enhanced. As you could have seen in the demonstration from uh, Sylvie, in the current version, it is possible only to view a quick look of the products produced uh, by the system. In the upcoming version, it will be possible to visually inspect the products at their uh, true native resolutions, 10 or 20 meters, with the possibility of uh, zooming in and out, moving uh, the images nice, something similar with uh, what you can see in uh, Sentinel Playground, for, for example. Additionally, uh, more information or metadata about products is available on uh, the selection of a product in the new interface. With, it will also be possible to overlay uh, this raster visualization with the LPIS or parcel uh, data. Uh, to obtain, and you will select individual parcels to obtain marker information, either uh, in the form of uh, text or properties, or uh, in the form of uh, a graph of time series of the respective uh, markers. In the new version, all the configuration settings that uh, are currently available only by means, let's say advanced configuration settings are currently available only by means of SQL scripts or uh, a dedicated Linux application uh, will be exposed uh, via the same web interface very nicely. Of course, a uh, basic user or a regular user doesn't need to change the default values, but for those who are interested in playing and tweaking with the system, this can be easily done without uh, the need to open a Linux terminal and uh, enter some bash script commands and, and so on. Besides the web interface, the, there are some changes uh, in the core of the system. Uh, we have uh, secured the REST API uh, that is uh, exposed by the Semper Cup system by uh, um, protecting it with the HTTPS uh, protocol and um, authentication token usage. 
this is mainly intended for those that uh, for business to business or machine to machine communication if uh, you would need to interact with the same forecast system from an external system the marker database um, is extended with additional markers uh, for example with the um, mean and standard deviation for reflected bands configurable you can choose one or more such bands uh, and the number of valid pixels used for computing this mean and standard deviation for uh, per parcel. Uh, we have uh, done some fixes or corrections related to recent changes that took place in the uh, data source uh, part of the system, mainly related to Sci-Hub for Sentinel data and USGS for uh, Landsat data. Uh, we still expect in the future to, to have some fixes for USGS because uh, their API is evolving and from time to time it breaks. Um, we'll have uh, dedicated Docker containers for the atmospheric correction processors for Maya and Centucore, which will allow a better management of the version so that if an update of uh, the used atmospheric correction processor uh, is available, uh, there is no need to reinstall and reconfigure the system. It's just a matter of uh, updating the Docker image. Um, it will be possible for the L4C M1 to uh, up to M5 markers uh, to be produced even without uh, parcel input tables. Right now in the current version, it is necessary to upload a uh, table in a special format in order to obtain these markers. Um, a big improvement has been realized on the classification crop type uh, processor in the classification step and now the computing time is uh, almost 10 times smaller than in the previous version. And uh, finally some uh, maintenance work uh, on the version of the operating system uh, libraries. Uh, the Slurm packages, Slurm is used for a distributed execution were updated and switched up to uh, mainstream. Uh, maybe it's worth mentioning that uh, even if it's not uh, in the new line of evolution of 3.0 version, um, starting with a 2.0 version, the current version, it is possible to switch the digital elevation model. Previously, only SR team was available. In this version 2.0, um, it is possible also to use Aster them version 3 for uh, higher latitude uh, areas of interest. Uh, I mentioned that because I saw a question in, in the chat box about the Copernicus then, but I can answer to that in the Q&A session. So that would be it and uh, stay tuned to the upcoming release in September for the new version. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Cosmin, for the teaser of what uh, awaits us in version 3.0. And I think that we can go forward to our uh, question and answer section. Of course, uh, Sylvia or Cosmin, if you see any question that are not covered, please fill it. Yes, sure. Uh, in the audience, there are also two colleagues of mine that I see that uh, started to, to answer the chat questions. I'm trying to browse them to see if uh, some something skip. Uh, first question would be, if we start now to test current version of sem cup and in September we move to 3.0, can the new version be upgraded automatically in the dashboard? Yes, uh, we will provide with this release, as we did with the previous versions, uh, update scripts and the update will go smooth from the current version to the new one. Yeah, I see a question from uh, Tanasis. Are you planning skipping the pre-process with GDAL and move to uh, DataCube? Mm, I think that uh, we need to uh, wait a little bit about the whole DataCube uh, projects uh, to confirm that. Uh, Cosmin, could you refer to the question uh, from Roland Bradshaw? Yes, with uh, there has been increasing interest recently in carbon soil storage. Can this application be used to car quantify carbon soil storage? Um, the answer no at the moment, but the system is um, was designed to be extensible, so with additional uh, functionalities or uh, information uh, has to be completed. A new module can be implemented, 
but uh, since the contract, the ESA contract for the Sam for Cup software system ended on May, we can discuss on a case by case basis this kind of evolutions. Uh, okay, uh, maybe in addition to to this question, uh, one comment on that from from of course uh, our side, uh, because a few days ago uh, in the Creo Diaz, uh, in the Finder tool, we have implemented a new processor that uh, enhances the resolution of Sentinel uh, data from ten meters to uh, two point five meters. So, of course, uh, I can uh, give you a sneak peek that, that we will uh, try to implement this solution into the uh, send for cap for, of course, uh, better accuracy of the results. But uh, in context of that, we will uh, inform you in our uh, social communication tools. Are there any new processors planned for the upcoming versions besides the existing processors of L4A, L4B, and L4C? Um, actually, we don't know how it will go beyond this uh, 3.0 release. So we have to discuss also with the uh, ESA, and, uh, or maybe ESA has to discuss with the European Commission to see how we can uh, continue evolving the Stanford Cup system outside of the contract that we had. But, uh, of course, that would be a, a nice idea to extend the system with additional processors. For that, maybe it would be interesting to, to create, um, let's say, like, like some polling topic on the sim for cup forum, if you are familiar with that uh, website. And try to, to survey what users would like to, to additionally have as processors in sim for cup system. Uh, okay, about the resolution enhancer. Uh, the resolution enhancer is ready, uh, but it's ready only uh, for, let's say, Sentinel products. You can, uh, for now, uh, use the uh, enhanced products in the Send for Cup solution. We are uh, start uh, working on it, so uh, we will inform uh, all of the community if uh, we release anything, but uh, we encourage you to uh, check our uh, Sentinel-2 resolution enhancer in the Creo Diaz and, of course, uh, to evaluate if the products after the processing to the 2.5 meter uh, could work uh, in your other projects, of course, uh, related to any uh, agricultural uh, activities. I think, Marcin, also a question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you based on AI for the resolution enhancement? Uh, yes, of course. The uh, the solution was uh, based on the AI, so um, sure. Uh, yes, Thomas is. Uh, the machine learning was was used. Why? So I would uh, incline to say yes to this question. Can the application create historical timelines of vegetation for specific sites? Uh, I would incline to say yes because you have the possibility to to retrieve the the vegetation markers time series, and you may keep them if you want to to have a history for the respective landscape. I'd like to know a bit more about the biomass calculation provided by the Sun for Cup. Cosmin? Um, yes, I think uh, my colleague Cosmin can uh, reply to that in the chat. Okay. Uh, the ATBD or the algorithms are public and are available on the web. But uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if they are on the Sun for Cup uh, website or uh, if they are available on the Centuagri. Say it, uh, site, which is a system similar, in fact, the ancestor of Sam for Cup software. Uh, to answer to Kemal, 
Uh, question so far as I understood, there is a small possibility of further developments for central capping outside the Given that there is a, we, um, an uncertain situation for the, let's say, continuation of the development of Cup, we are committed to, to still improve it however we can. So uh, if uh, we have the chance to, to do new developments in the frame of other projects, we'll do them and uh, the open source software system will benefit of them. Uh, yeah, and of course, uh, maybe if, uh, I can cover this question from the side of the Cloudfera, and of course, I can confirm that we will uh, try to develop uh, our solution to the uh, to the Central Cup because, uh, of course, the Central Cup is uh, open source software, and uh, we can try to uh, change this uh, a little bit, let's say, uh, and uh, trying to implement uh, before mentioned uh, Sentinel uh, resolution or cancer. Nihal, if there are additional questions, maybe not at this this moment, I will put uh, the address of the sem cup uh, forum in the chat box and uh, anyone can, can take a look there or ask additional questions. I'm sure that the small community that uh, started to build around the, the Central Cup system uh, is able to respond, if not ourselves. Mm, okay, so of course, if you have any additional question, of course, feel free to ask, as uh, Cosmin uh, said, uh, directly to the uh, Central Cup uh, community forum, and of course, directly to, to us. Uh, through the Criodias or through the Cloudfero uh, website. Uh, we are, of course, always uh, uh, for you to answer all of the uh, business and, of course, uh, product related questions. Also, I would like to invite you to Cloudfero website uh, to our uh, next webinar. Uh, that uh, will be at uh, 15th July. Uh, and if you cover the topic of introduction to the uh, Criodias. Uh, I would like to thank you everyone for coming to the webinar in a such uh, large numbers. Uh, and according uh, to the webinar, we will send uh, the presentation and the recording uh, via email, of course. Uh, I would like to also invite you to uh, visit our uh, website, uh, our uh, socials in the Facebook, in uh, LinkedIn, and of course the Twitter. And uh, if you would like to see uh, previous webinars, uh, feel free to visit our uh, YouTube channel. So thank you all, and hope that uh, we will see in our uh, next webinars. Thank you very much. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye.